Hello, my name's uh, Jesse. I'm from uh, Shalaba City Libraries. And I'm here with Ryle from the Harbour Health in Shalaba Village. Yeah. So, G'day. <laughs> um, just got some questions to ask you about uh, mental health. Yeah. Um, first ones: How are physical, mental, and spiritual well being all connected? Are we able to like have it at the same time, like work on it at the same time, or kind of be one by one? Like, how's yeah. that? Yeah. The best way to work that. Um, I mean, I think people are not one-dimensional, right? We are sort of made up of all these different facets, you know, our physical well-being, our mental well-being, our spiritual well-being. Um, so, yeah, we, focusing on just one may leave us a little bit empty or leave us kind of lacking in all these other areas. And I think we really do need to consider how we're travelling in, in all of those things. Uh, can we do them all perfectly? Maybe not. Like, obviously, that's when challenges can come in. Um, but it can be important when we're struggling to really be thinking about, you know, how are we going in those different domains? What's my physical health aspects like? Yeah. How am I sleeping, exercising, eating? Um, you know, what do I do with my routines? Things like that. And then your mental well-being, you know, how am I thinking? How am I feeling? Who am I connected to? What are my social supports like? And your spiritual well-being as well, another facet that can be really important to pay attention to. You know, how do I feel connected to people and the world around me, yeah. whether that's um, through certain religious beliefs or your own, your own uh, sort of faith and beliefs and things like that, or even just your own spiritual well-being in terms of, yeah, how you feel about yourself and the world, how connected you are to it, things like that. So it's really important that we sort of pay attention to those different things. Um, not just one and uh, yeah just kind of considering ourselves as yeah. whole people yeah. Yeah. yeah you focus on one kind of thing kind of leaves the other yeah, kind of yeah. a bit lacking yeah. or maybe just you know missing some things that might be happening there so, yeah for sure yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. other question is uh, can we compare certain ways we approach our physical health to how we can help our mental health yeah yeah I mean Comparing our physical and our mental health, I think uh, they are similar in that working on our mental health is a bit like going to the gym. Um, it is a bit of difficult, it takes a bit of effort, um, and it also can give us helpful benefits. Um, so when we're working on our mental well-being, you know, maybe going through the process of seeing a psychologist, challenging ourselves to change and do things differently, it's a lot like being at the gym for our physical well-being. Um, secondly, you know, considering your mental health in a physical aspect is the idea of kind of how our brains are, you know, flexible in, uh, you know, what we call neuroplasticity. Yep. But we can learn new things, we can change, you know. So when we're really struggling with something, it's if we can engage in the right support and work on this stuff, um, there is the ability for our brain to change with it, set yep. up new routines, change the way that we think and sort of evolve into that person that we want to be. So. Um, yeah, we often don't think about our brains as this thing that will change, but yeah. with work, it, it certainly can. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. And last question, uh, how can healthy well-being habits in our everyday lives help us to open up and seek help when we are struggling? How can healthy... Go again, sorry. <laughs> brain's lost. <laughs> how can healthy well-being habits in our everyday lives help us to open up and seek help when we are struggling? Yeah, I mean, I, I think setting up healthy habits is really important and that includes things like what are your healthy routines, who are your healthy connections, what are, you, what are your healthy go-tos when you need stress relief and relaxation and when you're feeling really overwhelmed and stuff like that. So knowing that or making sure that you've kind of got a bit of a plan for that for yourself can really help you just manage when life goes ups and downs, uh, when there's difficulties that may, may come up. Yeah. Um, so that would be really, really important, setting up really good habits um, for your mental well-being, just as you would with your physical health, just as you would with your work life, just as you would with your relationships and stuff like that. So I'd encourage yeah. that for people. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Well, that comes to our questions. Uh, thank you very much right. for your time. Thank you. And yeah.